Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. So for today, we definitely got ourselves a classic. We're checking out this RV right here. Man, 2003 and yet still going. It's a run and drive, salvaged out to water damage. So let's go ahead and check it out, the inside, outside, see if we could find the water damage, see why they salvaged it out, see if this thing's even worth playing. Because even if there's no water damage, I mean, being in 2003 is definitely old. So if there's no problems, there's still probably gonna be regular common issues. Cause you know, it's just, that's pretty old for a camper, but hey, this thing is still moving, run and drive. So let's check it out and see if the price is right. There we go. Beautiful. No way. <laughs> so right away we came here and the co-part worker was actually able to jump it and we started it just like that and it's running and it's actually sounding very healthy. Got your little lights working. That's good too. Definitely got our streaks going on. Hopefully that'll all wash off. If not, we'll read you guys' comments. You guys are recommending a lot of different solutions, so we'll put those to the test if we get it, you know? We'll definitely give this thing a good bath and hopefully all this stuff will come off and clean up nicely. But let's see if we could find some water damage. I mean, right away, you can see that the steps are folded in, but when I was going inside, they did come out. Look at that. So that is definitely good news, meaning that that little motor down there in the bottom is didn't really get wet. I mean, it's still working properly, so that's awesome, but it could have been in the rear, could have been in the front, so there could have been different water, you know, issues somewhere else. So we'll definitely check all that out. We're just gonna have to go through the compartment, see if we see any crazy water damage. I mean, right there, a little bit of dripping, but that's just because it rained the other day, so that's fine. Got ourselves a nice classic fire extinguisher. I think it's probably really old and heavy. But wow, it actually looks really good in here. Very clean, looks like it's well built. This thing is dry, I don't see any like crazy water spots. Water spots. There's a little main water level stuff. That's looking good so far. Behind door number one. Water heater. Let's keep going guys. Oh, that's locked. No, no, just gotta give it a little wiggle. Great storage bin, nothing there. Let's keep going. I like these big doors. All right, here's something. That's kind of what we're looking for, but that could have been anything spelt, really. It looks nice, though. Plastic, solid, steel tubing. Pretty nice. Missing a little light right there in the back. Got a slide out on this side, and I think a slide out on the other side. So it's just like our Georgetown. We just sold that one. So why not get another one? So this is all the way in the rear and it's a little dirty, but not bad. I mean, that's just normal wear and tear. A little rest there, but not bad at all. A little ladder in the back, backup camera right there. We can tell right there. Looks a little aftermarket. If I do actually want to climb up there later, if everything else turns well to see what's going on. It's a little rust in the license plate. It's just old, you know, that's fine. Let's see underneath, got our hitch. Looking good. Oh, I see a generator. That'd be awesome to test out. Yeah, this should be where the generator's at. Looks like they've been working on it. I wonder if we can start it. Nothing. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Hmm. I mean, it definitely looks like they've been going at it. Replace some stuff on it, so we got some new parts on there. I 
wonder if it just needs power, but who knows? Overall, it doesn't look like it's crazy bad. So that's good. I mean, last time this thing sold for $3,900, this entire unit. So, you know, anywhere near that would be awesome right now. I think it's closer to 5,000, but still isn't bad. I think that's definitely reasonable. I mean, even if it has a generator, has some other parts. I think it's cool. So far, no crazy water damage, rust things that I'm seeing. Got our sewer hoses. I'm not gonna dig into that too much. Looks like an aftermarket pump installed right there too, water pump. Cool. Not too bad. Looking good. What's behind door number four? Here we go. All right, all right. You got some cables. Looks like some aftermarket cables. <laughs> some stuff that's cut. Interesting. All right, a couple more cabinets is definitely a mystery every time. Surprise, you know, you just don't want to see anything crazy bad. This is an interesting compartment style. It looks like it goes all the way through. Interesting, interesting carpets I mean it's dirty but I don't see like crazy water not bad I want to see guys yeah then we've seen the other side that kind of went through so check this out so it's got a little step and then it's got, actually has a door for the driver's side that is so weird that is very uncommon I think they got rid of that or I mean I honestly haven't seen that before maybe one time when I was driving but that's so funny there's actually a door here Look at that. Wow. And check this out, guys. Roll down window. Oh, yeah. And it works. <laughs> what the? Pretty cool. Man, guys, I'm trying. I mean, I've flipped the breaker on, off, but nothing. It seems like it's just not getting any power back here. I wonder if there's another breaker somewhere inside saying, hey, no power going here, you know? Man, that would be sweet because then you could actually run all the functions of the house if you get this thing running. It's basically the same thing as plugging it in. Then we can check out the AC unit, the slides, all that fun stuff, but nothing. I don't know. We'll keep digging into that. Now, let's see how old are these tires. I mean, this thing's being a 2006. This, these could be pretty old tires. The tread feels really nice, surprisingly. Let's see if we can get ourselves a date on there. And then we'll know if it's well maintained, if somebody kept up with it, or it's just been sitting forever. Let me find it real quick. Honestly, not sure, but let's go inside and check out the interior. All right, so like I said, the steps are working. Check out all the carpeted area. Let's see, this is where the batteries sometimes are. And just kidding, no batteries there. Or do I have to unscrew it maybe? I don't know. I don't need tools with me. But, all right, a little dirty. But check out that couch. Wow. That has to be updated recently because that looks, that looks brand new, guys. Very cozy. Doing the smell test. Passes. Actually smells not bad in here. That looks all reupholstered pretty recently. Pretty decent sized kitchen, I would say. Not too bad. Interesting, a little LED lights fell down. So it's, it's dirty, you know. Definitely needs some cleaning. But not bad, not bad at all. Let's try to stay low and see what's going on in here. Not bad, honestly. Just normal wear and tear looking. Interesting what's going on in this side of the house, I would say. Just a little cubby and some windows. Weird, I wonder what the original design was. About. Do you think it was like this? This is interesting. I mean, just feels like it's missing something right there. I don't know. But coming over here, like I said, it is running and it's actually running really well. Check out that old backup camera. That's so funny, it's one of those tube TVs. I mean, back in 2003, I'm pretty sure that was pretty cool. You got little speakers on the side. Looks like they upgraded the TV. You got a DVD player and VCR player. No, okay, it's just a DVD player. Not that bad. 
<laughs> Interesting. Cool, cool. Definitely an oldie. Classic. Looks like this popped off, but it's just sticky. It feels really hard up there, so that's good. Nice and firm. I don't feel any soft spots yet. So obviously it's not the newest camper, but hey, with that sticker price, still not bad. I mean, even if it goes for like around there, that'd be sweet. Check out that refrigerator. Pretty big. All right, guys, I'm gonna open that refrigerator. It's literally gonna make it or break it. If it's like stuffed with garbage, I'm gonna try to walk away. But let's see. Okay, locked, locked. Oh, we gotta push down. Safety first. Not bad. Not bad at all, guys. Wow, that is a pretty big freezer and refrigerator. Got an ice maker on this thing. What the? And it's auto gas. So this refrigerator is probably like $3,000. They're very expensive. <laughs> pretty sweet. Moving on here to the control side. Fresh water, we got a little bit. Gray is empty. Black is empty. That's gray. And we got gas. Perfect. Main battery's on, auxiliary, nice. This is the slide out, but I don't think it's gonna work if the RV's on and we don't have any power, so it's kinda hard to do. We got more stuff popping out, but not too bad. Same layout as the other Georgetown, so this will slide out, and then that whole wall will slide out. All right, restroom time. Let's check out this bathroom. Not too bad. All right, a little dirty. Shower head fell off. Very normal. Not bad, decent size. Not gonna dig too much into that. But even for somebody low budget, renovate it, clean it up, I mean, this thing's sweet. You don't wanna like break the bank, but yet have something to go camping in, hanging out with. So far, so good. I mean, it's not horrible, honestly, guys. Pretty cool. Let's check out this leveling jack system. Let's see if that even works. Okay, it's not turning on, which is fine. I mean, I'm not gonna mess with that too much. Looks like they attached something in a little, little big screws right there. Interesting. Okay, so I can't get the generator to work, can't get those self-leveling jacks to work, but that's, that's minor. You don't have to have that stuff. But check out these seats. Somebody definitely put money and time into this thing, getting it reupholstered. I mean, a little bit more work, it's definitely doable. I hate to do it, but let's go on top and check out the roof. I think it's worth it. All right, guys, we're here on the top. And not too bad. I see a little patch right there. I'm just going to take this nice and easy. I mean, all RV campers actually leak, so not too crazy, but okay. That definitely looks like it's starting to crack already. Just need to go through it again. A little self-leveling. Got our two AC units. But so far, not bad up here. Oh, there we go. That's some more patches right there. Interesting patches. Definitely check that out. But no soft spots. Surprisingly pretty good, even over here. Nice. I like it. Pretty sweet. Nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. Not bad at all. So I've been running for about 30 minutes now. Everything seems like it's doing great. Looks like they put a new battery in there already. Sounds very healthy. Not bad, guys. All right, guys, so I found that piece of wood over there and I found where it goes. It's kind of dark, but I'm just checking that side out. Maybe the fridge stopped working or something else. That's why they call it a day. Who knows? All right, guys, so basically not too bad. I'm gonna head back to the shop. It's still a little bit before this thing plays. I got time, look at that. Not rushing, not late. But surprise, there's only 64 vehicles playing today, which is pretty crazy because sometimes there's over 500 cars at one time, multiple lanes. And today's auction, only 64. That's all that's playing that's like i said that's pretty crazy very low i've never seen it that low before but whatever i guess they're all caught up but let's go ahead and back to the shop do some more research and see if we can pick this thing up and bring it home all right guys back at the shop we're doing some research so i actually found another 2003 fleetwood pace arrow 
going for $22,000. That's pretty crazy. I mean, maybe it's got a little less miles than ours, 35,000, ours is 50. Um, the description says two slide outs, 30 amp. Wow, 30 amp, that's interesting. I think it'd be a 50 amp with the two AC units, but it looks like the same layout, the same style, the same interior. Oh, there's supposed to be another love seat in there. That makes more sense. It's got the washer and dryer hookup. It actually has it in there. Wow, very similar. This one's clean title. That's pretty crazy. I so, I mean, still worth money. Let's see if we can find another one. 2007, 2004. 2003 American Dream. I mean, they're still up there. It looks like people are holding value. The 2004 Winnebago. Winneg no, that's not us. So it's a little rare. I mean, I still think there's enough meat in the bone to make some money on it, get it, clean it up, make sure everything works, put the 30 amp to it, you know, slide outs, test it out, get that generator going. A little here and there, and that should be a nice little camper for somebody, honestly, ready to go. So that's pretty cool. It plays in about 15 minutes. Hopefully we'll get it. All right, guys, here we go. And three minutes out. So I found another one actually for sale, RV Trader. A little more reasonable, but this one also is close to $27,000 and sale pending. So they actually sold it for somewhere around there. That's pretty crazy. I and mean, it looks just like ours that we want to get. I'm surprised how well it held value, you know, but pretty solid, pretty nice little camper. RV. Three minutes to go. So it's more of a low budget, you know, gamble kind of thing because it's still a risk. Anything that you do is going to be a risk, but I think it's, that's a whole lot of vehicle for $5,000. So hopefully it'd be like one click, one buy kind of thing. Because last time, I, like I said, it went for $4,000. They didn't let it go from the insurance company. So this time somebody already bid it up to $5,000, which I think is fair, you know. Hopefully just it's not much more than that. So I can't even touch it right now. I gotta wait till that's basically playing and hopefully soon. We'll get some more vehicles in front of us going, but yeah, I mean, I think the money's still there and right now it's camping season. So hopefully get it. We had a nice quick flip kind of thing. Actually sold the other camper. They loved it. So that was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys seen that video or not, but yeah, nice and easy, fun adventure. Hopefully make some money on it. That's the name of the game. All right, guys, here we go. We are next. So I mean, honestly, this morning, I didn't even know we're going to be bidding on a Fleetwood Pace Aero, but did a little research on it. They're actually pretty nice. Definitely a uh, high end RV, I would say. So hopefully it goes well right after this little trailer, little camper thing, whatever. And then we'll be going at it. Yeah, they hold value. I even seen one for $19.99 going for $15,000. I'm like, wow, pretty sweet. All right, ours is next and last. So there was only, like I said, 60 something items for sale anyway, so it's not a big deal, but here we go. This shouldn't take too long with this little trailer and we're gonna go at it. Hopefully not too much. Hopefully one click, two clicks, 5,000 some range would be great. I don't know if I wanna go more than six. I'm probably gonna sell it maybe 10, because it's salvage title still. I mean, it's still a great vehicle, but Does it make sense to bid it up to the win it kind of thing that? Here we go. One click, one click. Oh, Tennessee is in the game. No, South Carolina. Now somebody from South Carolina. No. Oh, wow. This one for $4,000 last time. No. Dang, they're going at it. Man, I guess everybody else did research like I did too. Everybody's looking for a camper right now. Dang. Oh, right away, outbid, that's crazy, come on. I'm going for the aggressive. Seven's a lot, I mean, I... Yeah, they could have it. Honestly, by the time you get these, and you have to do some work on it. You're looking at close to 10. That's kind of what I wanted to sell it for. Wow, Connecticut, somebody else is getting in the game now too. 
Dang, that's crazy. I was hoping to get it for five. Like I said, it literally played last week, went for four thousand dollars. Obviously, this insurance didn't let it go, but wow, that's almost double. That that's crazy. It's still on reserve, so wow, I am very shocked here. I mean, honestly, I didn't think it was gonna go anywhere near that price because. Uh, but it is camping season, so it's prime time. People are probably trying to get it right now and actually using it to go camping, so I'm not gonna get into it. I was trying to make a little bit, but I think all the profits out the window. <laughs> Dang. Sheesh, but I mean, without looking at it, flood, I mean, that's 8,100, that is it. That's, that's what they want right there, but I just don't think, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, honestly, at the end, Dang, just like that. Hey, we more than I thought. Well, that's a bummer, guys, because I really wanted to get out there and bring it back home. But like I said, there's no point of, you know, going crazy, bidding it up. I mean, they're looking at 85, 86, probably close to $9,000 after fees, which is fine. You know, everybody's got to make money. But $9,000, plus you got to do some stuff at least. I mean, who knows about the generator, the slide outs. I wasn't able to get that working and I don't think there's that much water damage, but at the same time, it definitely needed some work. It's so another maybe $1,000. So you're looking at 10, and I probably could sell it for 10 because of the salvage title. So it's not worth the effort. There's plenty of other things out there, more opportunities. Hopefully we'll get some other flooded vehicles. We actually do want to fly out somewhere across the country. Heard there's some storms going on, so maybe we'll get some good deals somewhere else. But locally, that's a bummer. Didn't get it, but it is what it is. Well, that's about it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. I was going to go out there, but you, you never know. You know, that's the kind of thing that's realistic. So you can't get your hopes up too much and then get disappointed. But you got to know when to quit it, <laughs> you know, when to stop bidding on it and stuff like that. So that is what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe. Hopefully we'll get some new projects coming up soon. Catch you next time.